We discovered in, our, in both of our children's cases that the families of our children had faked deaths in order for their children to be surrendered to the orphanage. This is the reason immigration is denying them access to the country. Doug says there is an urgency to getting them to the states because Joseph has sickle cell anemia and needs medical attention. And that is part of the reason that his birth family surrendered him because they could not care for him and they feared he would die. So they surrendered, they went to these great lengths, even to the lengths of faking a death in order to surrender him to the orphanage in hopes that he would live. Get set, go. This isn't the first time the Wallers have adopted internationally. Their two sons, Teddy and Henry, are originally from Ethiopia. Since learning about the fake deaths, the Wallers have gone to great lengths to correct this mistake so their sons can meet their new siblings. People make mistakes. You know, if, if you're desperate and you want to surrender your child, we can understand that. They're, yet we've corrected the record, and, and now it's time to get those kids home, and, and we really don't want them to be punished for the mistakes their parents made. They can still appeal the decision, but are asking for help from the public to share their story so Rose and Joseph can come home. They've posted their story on social media, and it has already started to spread. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and what we're asking is that the U.S. government make a different decision. After spending years in the Navy, the Wallers learned to leave no man behind. They say even if they do not get the decision they want, they won't give up. Eventually, if they say they can't come to us, then we'll go to them. They're our kids, and we will not leave our family behind. The Wallers tell me they've spent time with Rose and Joseph's birth parents in Uganda. They say they've relinquished their rights to the children, but would not share why at this time. Back to you guys. All right, Seth, thanks. The couple first interacted with orphanages while serving abroad in the Navy. They say after meeting the kids, they decided they'd grow their family.